This is Byron Gordon for the SES Conference Channel. It's day one at SES Chicago. We just came off the Blended Universal panel and I'm speaking with Jack Menzel of Google. How do you do, Jack? Hello. And uh, Jack, maybe you could tell for some of the viewers uh, for our channel a little bit about uh, what are the, uh, the current trends that uh, you're seeing uh, as far as Blended Search goes and um, what's Google doing? Sure, sure. So Universal Search has been live for about two years now and um, the, the really exciting things that we've been doing are actually going in, and since now that we've launched this, this framework where we can search every single one of our corpus on every single query that a user does, we now can go in and actually tune these dials so that we can, we can really um, ramp up this kind of infrastructure that we've been using. So you'll see you know, Universal on more and more queries, and then we'll be, we're constantly move, working to improve both the relevance of those results so that when we do happen to trigger each of these individual Universal properties, we want to make sure it is of the utmost relevance, as well as when we present these results, we want to make sure that we're presenting them in the most effective way possible. So you know, though you know, 10 text results had worked really well on the internet you know, to this point, uh, you know, if, you're, if your query is you know, images of Shakira, like Mike apparently likes a lot, um, you know, an actual thumbnail of the image of Shakira that you're going to get to on that website is obviously going to be a better indicator of whether or not you want to click through on that result than you know any number of uh, you know properly snippeted you know little text lines that we could do. So those are the those are the three things. We're also working on making Universal you know continually just faster and more streamlined so that people can you know the even though we're adding more and more kind of different types of content we still want people just to be able to read through those 10 results and find exactly what they want so you, you talked about um, you wanted to make sure people understood that uh, universal results aren't uh, connected to paid results. You want to clarify that for people to make sure they get that and that's, understand that too? That's right. I mean, just, just to be perfectly clear, <laughs> universal results are in no way sponsored in any way and that they are, comp they are as organic as any of the other results and that we, uh, you know, that though, you know, ads, ads are often wonderful results, they have nothing, no influence over, over the, or the universal results that you see on the page. So. And uh, finally, any other new tools or applications in, re in regards to uh, Blended or Universal Search that you want to talk about or mention? Um, well, so just I have to mention that that Universal in and of itself is just is just like uh, a better view of the rest of the content that's on the internet, and so. Anything that you as a webmaster or an SEO can do to actually help us understand the content that you're putting out on the on the internet better is really helpful. So think things like make sure that you know all, all you've checked all the webmaster tools stuff and that makes sense. Make sure that you have, you know, if you're selling a product, you have a product feed submitted. If you have if you're hosting videos, make sure you have a video sitemap, make sure your images are properly captioned, you know, on, on and on. LBC, you know, just make sure that we like Understanding the internet is hard for us, and the more information that you can give about these different types of content, the easier it's going to be for us to surface the most relevant results for a user's query. Okay, words of wisdom for all webmasters. This is Byron Gordon for the SES Conference Channel, day one, SES Chicago. Keep watching.